What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be unboxing a Funko Mystery Box. This is from EB Games slash GameStop. So I'm really excited to see what is inside here. It's an EB Games exclusive. So I can't wait to see what it is. And that is the Fantastic Four Venomized Mystery Box. I know this has been out for a while, but ironically... I don't think I've seen them where it's this small. I thought there were bigger boxes before. So whenever I've seen this at EB Games here in Canada, which has since switched over to become GameStop once again, whenever I've seen this in store, it was regular $40 on sale for $30. I decided to pick it up. I think there is at least one Funko inside, so I thought that was a great deal to see what is going to be in here. I asked the employees if it is something that has been around for a while or if it's new, or if there is at least one Funko inside. They had no clue. They thought maybe there is at least a keychain inside, given the size of the box and the fact that it says there is four items inside this box. They weren't so sure. I decided just $30. Let's take a risk and I will see what is inside. Out of everybody that is in the Fantastic Four, there is certain ones that stick out to me that I'd rather have a Venomized version of, but I can't wait to see. And of course, there's Chases, there's Metallic versions, so I can't wait to see what's inside. We're just going to open it up here. Now, since it's a small box, I don't think there's going to be a bunch of stuff that's covering each other. It's probably going to be, as soon as I open the box, I'll see everything. Just like I thought. So up first, right on the top, we see that there is a sticker of the Fantastic Four logo with the symbiote on it. So that's really cool, a Venomized Fantastic Four logo. Stickers are stuff that I collect, but you usually get them in any mystery box. So there's stuff that's common, but I haven't seen one that's a Venomized version. Next, just like any mystery box, there's a keychain, but I really like this keychain. This is going to be one that's going to be really nice to display in my opinion and that is a venomized galactus and it looks like the blue and the white not the red i thought the tongue would be too but the blue uh, that's on him and the white eyes are all metallic so that's really cool it just really pops I'm not sure yeah it's not really showing on camera but that is really cool that is one of the nicer quality pins that I've received. It's actually from uh, Marvel and Funko, so it's not like some of the ones that I've received from Loot Crates, where it's Loot Crate branded. This is a way better quality one than what I've received from Loot Crate. Next, we do have a uh, Funko keychain. This is a special edition, which I know some of the special edition ones are metallic. Uh, and they're more like a chase. I'm not sure if this is, but it's a Venomized Doctor Doom. Which, Doctor Doom is one of my favorite Marvel villains. It kind of does look metallic, so maybe it is a special or more rare variant of the Venomized Doctor Doom. But that is really cool. So that is definitely going to be staying on my shelf. I'm not going to be unboxing it just like I do with all my Funkos. I leave them in the box. Just a personal thing for me. I'd rather display them that way than open them up and display them like that. I know that would probably save a lot of room, but that's just what I do. And one thing that I didn't know with the keychain ones is it still is a bobblehead. So I did not know that. So I am going to be keeping that obviously in the box. And last but not least, the last item that's in this box is a Funko Pop, a regular sized Funko. And it's actually one that I would have wanted. So that makes me really excited. And that is a Venomized the thing look at that now i do have the regular thing um on my shelf in my collection for my funko pops so i can tell just by looking at it it is a metallic version of course it does say special edition on it here but just by looking at it you can tell it is metallic and that is really cool on the back whenever it shows all of the other ones that you could receive that are venomized that's what the regular thing looks like. It kind of looks like that here. But what we received is the special edition. It is the metallic one, which in my opinion is a lot cooler. So this is the first special edition that I have picked up and actually got from a mystery box that I actually pulled. That's really cool. Better than uh, a regular one. So I don't know if it's considered a chase. Obviously it doesn't say chase, but it's more of a rarer one than the regular one. So that's really cool. 
that I got a special edition. And in my collection, I do have other ones, some Walmart exclusives and some other ones that I've picked up while I was out, but I purchased them at like $15, $16, whatever they were worth at the time, but I never pulled anything out of a mystery box. So that is really cool. So I'm gonna have to make room for this. I think my Iron Man from the Avengers game is gonna switch over to my PlayStation shelf, and this will have a nice spot on my Funko shelf. Obviously, I love Venom, you guys know this. I like the Fantastic Four, you guys know that. So this is a great one for me to pull that is out of this. The other ones, of course, is Mr. Fantastic, Invisible Girl, and Human Torch. Human Torch would have been iffy, but at least I got the thing, which I'm a huge, huge fan of. The only other thing that I am noticing just now, just glancing at it, is they have a spelling mistake on the back here. Of course, it won't zoom in. They have it T-H-N-I-N-G, which is obviously spelt wrong. That's not how you spell things. So I'm not sure if that is anything. I just happened to glance and see that. So that's just weird that there's a spelling mistake on a Funko Pop. But nonetheless, that's really cool. It's going to have a nice spot on my shelf. So I don't know. Comment down below what you guys think. Should I go back to EB Games, which I keep saying EB Games. It is now GameStop. And see if they have any more. I think they were on clearance. Um, and they were $30. I got the one that I wanted. So I'm not really sure if I want to go back. See if I can get a whole set of them. Or if I just want to say I got the one that I really wanted and leave it at that, which is likely what I'm going to do. But let me know if you guys want to see this. Obviously, I will go and purchase more if you guys want to see me unbox more. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, I find more things like this. Now that EB Games is no more and it's GameStop, hopefully we will get some of the US GameStop exclusives here in Canada whenever it comes to mystery boxes. But also, they did mention that there's going to be a lot of Canada-only exclusives with the new GameStop here in Canada, which is going to be interesting. So anything else that I see like this, especially if it's on sale, I'm going to pick it up and unbox on the channel. But I will leave this one here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.